If you've ever opened Twitter or Reddit and seen someone say, this is the year of the Linux desktop, and then absolutely nothing happened, yeah, I feel you. It's become a meme at this point, oh? But here's the thing. 2026 might actually be different. And I'm not saying this because I'm some Linux fanboy who thinks everyone should compile their own kernel at 3 a.m. I'm saying this because there are five legitimate reasons why Linux desktop is about to get a lot more mainstream than it's ever been. And no, this isn't about some magical feature. It's about timing, momentum, and people getting fed up with the alternatives. So let's break it down. Everyone is getting sick of forced AI. Look, I get it. AI is cool when it works. But right now, Microsoft is shoving Copilot into every corner of Windows 11. Apple released Apple Intelligence, which is basically glorified autocorrect with a marketing budget. And Windows 12 is apparently going to be an AI-first operating system. Here's the problem nobody's talking about. Most people don't want this. You know what's wild? Windows itself pops up warnings saying AI can be inaccurate, AI can be unsafe, while simultaneously forcing you to use it. That's like your GPS telling you, I might take you off a cliff, but follow me anyway. And here's where it gets interesting. Windows 10 goes end of life soon, can't stick with that. Windows 11 is getting more AI heavy every update. Mac is doing the same thing. Wait, where do you go? Linux. Because most distributions either don't have AI tools at all, or they're completely opt-in. Meaning if you don't want it, you literally never see it. So when millions of people realize they can't escape the AI invasion on Windows or Mac, Linux becomes the only logical option. And that's not a small thing, that's a massive migration waiting to happen. If I talk about the second reason that is Valve's Steam Machine is about to ship, now you probably know about the Steam Deck. Portable gaming console runs Linux, sold millions of units. It proved that Linux gaming isn't just viable, it's actually better in a lot of cases. But here's why the Steam Machine is different. The Steam Deck is a handheld. Most people used it like a console. They didn't really dive into the desktop mode. They didn't install mods, they just played games. The Steam Machine? That's a full gaming PC. People are going to plug it into monitors. They're going to use desktop mode. They're going to install third-party software. And guess what? It runs Linux. So now you've got millions of gamers who've never touched Linux suddenly using a KDE desktop, navigating file systems, maybe even learning basic terminal commands. But here's the real kicker anti-cheat software. Right now, games like Valorant, League of Legends, and a bunch of competitive shooters don't work on Linux because their anti-cheat doesn't support it. Developers always said, it's just a niche handheld device. We're not going to bother. But when the Steam machine becomes a mainstream gaming PC, when millions of people are playing on it, those developers can't ignore it anymore. They'll have to support Linux. And once that barrier is gone, there's literally no reason to stay on Windows for gaming. Better performance, no ads, no forced updates that break your drivers. Ugh. Linux just wins. Let's dive into the third reason. System 76's Cosmic Desktop. Now you might be thinking, another desktop environment? Who cares? Here's why you should care. A lot of people tried Linux years ago. Maybe they used Ubuntu with GNOME. Maybe they tried KDE and it felt bloated. Whatever it was, they bounced off. They went back to Windows or Mac and never looked back. Cosmic is brand new, modern design, unique workflow, built from scratch. It gives all those people a second chance to try Linux with a completely fresh experience. But here's the part most people miss. System76 is a company. They sell laptops and desktops with Cosmic pre-installed. If their customers hate the software, they lose money. So they have skin in the game. They can't just ignore bugs or missing features. They have to fix them or their business dies. Compare that to community projects where maintainers work on what they personally care about. Cosmic has financial incentive to be good, and that matters. And finally, Wayland transition is complete. If you're not technical, here's the simple version. For past seven to eight years, Linux desktop have been migrating from an old display system to a new one called Wayland. Screen sharing didn't work. Some apps were buggy. NVIDIA support was trash. It felt like the entire ecosystem was stuck in limbo. But now, KDE Plasma, Gnome, Cosmic, they've all finished the transition. Wayland works. But maybe here's the question in your mind is, why does this matter? Because developers aren't spending all their time just rebuilding old features anymore. Now they can actually add new stuff. Better performance, smoother animations, new features that weren't possible before. Affinity Suite is coming, and this reason one nobody's talking about. Canva. The company that owns Affinity is seriously considering porting Affinity Photo, Designer, and Publisher to Linux after they finish the iPad versions. Why does that matter? Because right now, if you're a designer, photographer, or creative professional, you're stuck on Windows or Mac, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. None of that runs natively on Linux. Affinity is the best alternative to Adobe. Professional tools, one-time payment, widely used in the industry. If Affinity comes to Linux, suddenly creative professionals can actually consider switching. That's a complete workflow. And when you can do everything you need on Linux, the question stops being, why would I switch? And starts being, why haven't I switched yet? 
Look, every revolution has a moment. Linux has been waiting 30 years for this moment. And in 2026, all the pieces finally fall into place. So you can either watch it happen from the sidelines, or you can be part of it. Your move. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're ready to see where this goes. Catch you next time.